In Court on TKO8 Television is brought to you by Campbell Bonding Company. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. Garrett Angel, 16145, 166, 15226, drug cases, and one being one a forger and criminal attempt to commit theft. Mr. Angel <clears throat> failed to appear on July 22nd, which I believe was originally scheduled as a plea deadline. Uh, there were offers on the table at that time. Uh, my understanding that in the process of being, I guess, located, he's been arrested on some new misdemeanor offenses. I'm assuming the failures to appear have been served. Uh, the defense has asked if the state would be willing to still extend the offers that were on the table before the failure to appear, and I, I've advised Mr. Hancock I would like to look into more, more into uh, the charges that he has been arrested on just to make sure that I can still feel comfortable extending those same offers. That's something I should know the answer to by October 7th if we could put him back on for that day. It's fine with me. <clears throat> and we'll put him on for tri- reappearance. That'd be our request. We'll take the time. Okay. We continued on defense motion until that date, October 7th. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. Thank Brian Knight, 16 97, residential burglary, theft, firearms by certain persons. Judge, we have a a kind of a tentative agreement. Uh, We do have an agreement, but part of it's going to be conditioned upon uh, the restitution that's going to be assessed. Uh, There's a co-defendant in this case. Her case has been resolved and will be in front of Judge Webb next Friday for the determination on the uh, restitution 
I will be here to attend and represent uh, Mr. Knight's interest in that. Um, and that essentially whatever the restitution is determined is going to be determined of, of how much or any uh, suspended imposition of sentence that's going to be associated with this case. And I hope I said that correctly. That's fine. And Judge, I told Mr. Hancock, you know, right now the, the plea calls for a certain term of years of suspended sentence. That was in anticipation of the possibility of a higher restitution figure. If, if Judge Webb does uh, determine that the restitution would be a, of a lesser amount, I have agreed to uh, allowing uh, the length of the SIS to be amended to reflect you know, a, a lower number. Okay. Should I just take the plea and have, have sentencing next Friday, or should I? What should, how should we do this? Mechanic? I don't know if, uh, I mean, if the sheriff's office is willing to hold him for a week. We could do that. He would have to. He's got um, some very significant medical issues, and he's oh, got okay. medical appointments. All right. You know, or if, we could, you know, if we needed to come back at a later time and address, you know, if we can't agree it, on the on the SIS, it, you know. if you're if if the agreement is that, that even if I sentenced him to 11 years to suspended imposition of sentence on top of this, I you know if I can if agreement is that I can reduce that, I mean, and that 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 would be my proposal. I will say this to him: if your lawyer and the prosecutor agree to reduce it, I will agree to reduce the SIS. Do we need any more than that? I don't know to protect him. I mean, I'm on, I'm going to do that. But and it, how, um, how's best, Mr. Hancock? Judge, that um, I think that would be okay. The, the only other part that I'm worried about is that um, Mr. Knight probably should be afforded the opportunity to be here for the restitution hearing, also. That, that's probably true. Just to make things clean, and um, what so I would propose yeah, then really is that if the sheriff's office can keep him for seven days, which I think is standard under our transport orders, he could be here next Friday. We could still plead him to the terms of the agreement, but just leave restitution open. Do you have medical appointments between now and next Friday? No, I think they're uh, for next month. I'm pretty okay. sure. Right. How about this? That's, that's fine. If I if I. Uh, finding guilty, I just to judge him guilty, and then Judge Webb could assess sentence. That, that'd be our preference. Okay. Okay, Mr. Knight, I'm looking at a police statement here. Have you gone over this document? I have. Uh, and you've signed it, it looks like, and, yes, and also signed some terms and conditions. Is that right? Yes, sir. Do you feel you understand what is in this document? Yes, sir. You understand the charges against you and the range of possible penalties if you're convicted? Yes, sir. Are you pleading guilty to residential? Is he pleading as an habitual? Yes. Yes. Okay. You're pleading guilty to residential burglary, theft of property, and possession of firearms by certain persons. Y yes, sir. And apparently, you've had, uh, I guess, at least two prior felony convictions. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> that, if they hadn't already done it, they were. Uh, the state was going to reduce the. B felony firearm to a D felony. That's fine. It's not going to affect the outcome of the case, Your Honor. So it's supposed to be a D. They're, That's fine. I'm going to make it clear that it's a D. Okay. That's on the felon in possession of firearm charge. Oh. Yes. What, it, what's the theft charge? A B. It's still a B. B. Of course, okay. residential burglary. Well, that was correct to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. By pleading guilty, you're giving up your right to have a trial, and you also give up your right to an appeal. Do you understand this? Yes. Are you entering this plea freely and voluntarily? Man. Other than this recommendation as to your sentence, have you been promised anything? No, sir. Has anyone pressured you or threatened you to get you to change your plea? No, sir. And are you pleading guilty because you're in fact guilty? Yes, sir. On or about March 15th of this year here in Boone County, did you and a co-defendant enter into someone else's home and steal some firearms and ammunition and coins? He, Judge, his role was as an accomplice. He was in the okay. vehicle out. Side. Okay, so you assisted in this, but you didn't go in the house. Correct. Okay, and some items were stolen from the home. Correct, including some firearms. Correct. Okay. All right. This time, sir, I accept your plea and judge you guilty. I set you to be sentenced after a restitution hearing. Yes, sir. Okay. And judge, for the record, we've agreed to a term of years That's on, the, on the ADC portion of the sentence, which would be. 
okay. seven years in the Arkansas Department of Corrections on each of the uh, B felonies and six years. Well, he's pleading as an habitual. We'll just make it seven years straight across concurrent. Uh, so the only issue to be resolved next Friday will be restitution and the length of the suspended sentence. That's true, Judge. I'll get credit for yeah. all the time I've served, right? And that'll be uh, next week. Okay. Whatever. You want to keep this police statement, just leave it in the file? It doesn't Which need to be. Yeah, we probably should keep it, Judge. Just we oh. haven't been sentenced yet. Okay. We're going to be here next week. Fully Friday. completed, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, the, the jail administrator uh, has, a, has, I think they would agree to keep him until then, Judge. Okay. If we need an order, we'll get one. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Out of Newton County Circuit Court, 16 36 State versus Terry Masters. Mm. <clears throat> Let's see. Looks <clears throat> like there was a failure to appear, and Judge Webb issued a alias warrant. Other than set her down to appear before Judge Webb, what should we do? That's all your honor. Your Honor, she has a scheduling order. It looks like her next date is in October. Okay. We'll follow that, 1028. Okay. It's got September 3rd on here. Is that not a date for him? That's already passed. Not 30th, I meant to say. I apologize. Oh, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Okay, October, October 28th, I guess, is her next appearance. Judge, could we, if it's possible to get her back before Judge Webb before then so he can consider the alias, what he wants to do with holding her? Well, I don't know when he'll be back before then. I would assume next Friday, but I don't know for sure. Okay. Has he been setting court dates? It's the fifth Friday, but if he, okay, September thirtieth, if Judge Webb's here. Thanks, sir. That's all we can do today. Thank you. Sixteen dash forty nine state versus Justin Connor, residential burglary and theft. Yeah, let's see. There's an alias worn out on this case. Uh, your former attorney withdrew from your case. Do you have a, another lawyer, sir? Uh, no, sir. I did have a lawyer in Fredericton. I'm not home, and uh, he dropped the case. And I filled out a public defender paper. Uh, it was Monday when I had my eight one with Tommy Martin. I filled out one for Mr. Bunch. Okay, if we have that here, we'll take a look at it. Sir, I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. Let's see what's, what the next step is in your case. We Judge, I think his failure to appear was on a pretrial setting. Okay, looks like there's a jury trial scheduled for October 27th. That date will be fine if we could just do a pretrial in the in the interim. Um, I okay. Think we'll keep him on the 
It will have to be in Harrison and, uh, let's see, 27th, October 7th or the 21st. The 21st would be better, Joe. Free trial on October 21st. Okay. Is that all? Uh, yeah. Okay. 16-240, Deborah Vanderpool. He will be here. Okay. Well, this is uh, Judge Webb's case. No, it was transferred. Oh, was it transferred? Yes, sir. Okay. I guess the <clears throat> order's not yet made it to the file. Is there anything to be done in the case? Judge, I don't believe so. We have provided the discovery that we have up to this point. I do not know what our next court appearance will be. December 2nd. December 2nd? Okay, December 2nd, 9.30 will be your next appearance. So I can go home and see about my mother or, or, or have it lowered so I can have a test on. Can, I've been here four weeks and I apologize for behavior and it will not happen again. I'll be glad to take a test for you at any time. You know, the problem is to get home with my mom. Can you make a cash bond? Uh, 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 no, sir. It's $100,000. Well, you know? ma'am, you, you asked for a cash bond. No. Can you I'm make not. any kind of cash bond, ma'am? Well, I, I mean, I, you know, I'm sure my kids can help me with some cash, but Okay, not, well, not, talk to your lawyer and, and present it to me, and I will consider it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. I'm Brittany. I work in the operatory. I assist the doctor and I make our patients as comfortable as possible. I've never worked for anybody that seems to care for her staff like she does and really cares for her patients. The best thing about working here really is seeing people get the smile they've desired for years and seeing the outcome of happy tears and smiles. Dental Creations on the square in Harrison, next to the Big Red Boot. Go ahead, say it. It's a dirty job. Somebody's got to do it. That somebody's me. I'm Bruce Lovins, better known as Little Bruce on the Roof, at your service. That was over 20 years ago. The hat has changed, but we still provide the same great service. We not only clean chimneys, we do dryer vents, gutters, and handyman jobs. Little Bruce on the Roof Chimney Services. Call 870-688-3389 and let Bruce come to you. That's Little Bruce on the Roof. Call 870-688-3389. Call me. Fly higher, go further, do more. Take it to the next level with Polaris. Whether you're chasing unforgettable memories, manhandling a mountain of work, or pushing the limits of work and play, we've got the perfect machine built just for you. Now's the time to get rebates up to $2,000 during the Polaris Spring Sales Event. Come see us at 824 North Main in Harrison. State versus Chad Daughtery, 16-82, domestic battery in the third degree, aggravated assault, endangering the welfare of a minor, criminal mischief.
Sir, have you attempted to hire a lawyer? I have not. Is there a reason you haven't? Well, because um, my original court date after my 8.1 hearing was on the 12th. I showed up for my court date. They they told me that they couldn't find any charges with the clerk's office. Anywhere I've been, went to the prosecutor's office, asked them, or called them. They said they had nothing. And then um, uh, the altercation was with Stacy Royce here. Whenever we got pulled over, they said there was still a uh, protection order out for us. And we talked to uh, a judge to have that dropped. And he had it dropped, and I called down to the Newton County Sheriff's Department, asked them to please get it through the system, get it through the state system, because they were about to take me, take me to jail over a protection order. And that following morning, they called me on my phone and said that they had a, a, a read-only warrant for me to please come down to the Newton County Sheriff's Office to have it read to me. So I showed up the next morning, had it read to me, and um, they scheduled me a new court date for today. <clears throat> Try to hire a lawyer be back in here on <coughs> September 30th at 9 o'clock. September 30th, 9 o'clock. State versus Jerry Gash, 16-75. Public Defender's Office be representing him. Yes, sir. We've been appointed. Okay. Let's see. Guess we're just here for an arraignment. Scheduling order, I believe. Say again now. Scheduling order. It is here for our attorney status. Okay. Okay. Has he been arraigned? It's not in the file. Stay in contact with your lawyer, sir. All right. Thank you. State versus Joseph McCollum, 16 81. Got a lawyer, sir. Yes, sir. A little public defender. Okay. There's. Has he been? He looks familiar. Has he been before me? There's nothing in the file that rained last week. Is there anything to be done in the case? Get so, on the scheduling order. Just stay in contact with your lawyer, sir. Yes, sir. State versus Stacy Sexton, 16-27. Anything to be done in this case? Today was the plea deadline. Um, we received a plea earlier this week, and I haven't yet had a chance to discuss it with the prosecutor. Okay. But could we pass this case for perhaps yeah. later on in the in the day? I can have it reappear at another time. It'd be in Harrison, it's set for trial on October twenty seventh. I got this October 7th or the 21st, which would you May prefer? May I look at my calendar? Yes, sir. October 7th would work. Very well. We appear on October 7th, 9.30. Thank you, John. Okay. Okay, Garrett Angel has three cases, 15-226, forgery, criminal attempt, commit theft, 1666, drug paraphernalia, 16-145, methamphetamine paraphernalia, criminal trespass. Is there anything to be done in Mr. Angel's case? We have been transported. Okay, sir, we're going to transport you to the courthouse. That's all we can do. Right now, State versus Larry Barker, breaking or entering theft, 11 
Is this a revocation? It is, Your Honor. First appearance. Okay. Approach, Your Honor. Yes. Judge, I show that Judge Webb signed the sentencing order. Okay. Sir, I've appointed the Public Defender's Office to represent you. Your case will be before Judge Webb, another judge. Is he in her plea of not true to these allegations? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Reading of the petition. I'll set you for hearing on September 30th at 9 o'clock. Is he in her? Uh, okay. Is there anything else to be done, or is that too early? That's just a week away. Judge, if it's, if the, the nature of the allegations are more technical in nature than the allegation of a new offense, I think September 3rd would be fine. Okay. Well. And in looking at the. Uh, well, it does allege a new criminal offense. Okay. Let me set it on the 16th, and if. Probably a better judge. Thank okay. you. Okay. Judge, would you uh, set a bond for Mr. Parker in that case? If it is a alleged new offense, it looks like a felony drug possession and paraphernalia is what the allegation is. And he's been in the county for over 10 years, Judge. Lives uh, Gasville. Uh, other than what he's on probation for, I'm not sure of what other criminal history he has. Would ask for the $2,500 surety on this and whatever bond the other case has. Uh, What's the state's position? Judge, it's an allegation of a new felony offense while out on probation. It's Judge Webb's case. I would prefer that Judge Webb address any bond in the case. And um, Mr. Barker, are you still working at the boat shop? Uh, yes, as of right now, I'm not exactly <coughs> sure, but uh, speaking to my supervisor, I have a chance to see my position if I can find out soon. Okay. That's Bass Cat Boats, is that right? Yes, sir. Where is that at? In Midway. Okay. What did he, do you know what he allegedly had as by way of oh, by drugs? Oh, the controlled substance. Judge, it says simple possession and felony. It does not speci specify what type of drug. I would assume methamphetamine. Okay. Has he got a, well, you don't know, I'm sure, but has he got a co-signer, co-surety? Yeah. Barker, do you have somebody that can sign off on a bond for you? My wife or my father. Okay. If, if his father signed $2,500 surety bond, co-surety. Get in touch with your dad, okay? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. What uh, day is it The 16th. Oh. Uh, what was that? Not a date. Well, I guess it had to be the 28th, won't it? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. When you support a locally owned pharmacy, you're contributing to the growth of a community. The dollars you spend stay right here to support our local community. Healthmart pharmacies are locally owned pharmacies. There is one right here. Healthmart pharmacists have a crucial commitment to their community because just like you, they support their community. 
Healthmark pharmacies are locally owned and hometown proud. Harrison has a Healthmark now. Sam Alexander Pharmacy, on the square in downtown Harrison. Healthmark, caring for you and about you. I'm Randall. I work at the on-site lab at Dental Creations on the square at Harrison. Working with Dr. Wanda is great. She's taught me a lot and showed me a lot, and she gives us the freedom to get one-on-one -on -one with the patient. If there's a problem, we can actually come out of the back and do what's best for the patient. Having this on-site lab here with the doctors, that's really nice. Dental Creations on the square in Harrison, next to the Big Red Boot. Sixteen dash thirty three State versus Sean Cook, residential burglary, paraphernalia, <coughs> criminal mischief, fleeing. Is there anything to be done? No, Judge. We're still waiting to figure out what the disposition in White County is going to be. There's an uh, offer um, as to drug court, uh, which Mr. Cook wants to do, but that White County case has to be cleared up before it'd be considered here, and that's what we're waiting on. Well, if the state will calculate the time, we'll just have to reschedule the matter. I'll do that, Your Honor. We'll, we'll tell the time, Judge. Okay. Uh, I yeah, go ahead. Um, is there any way I could like put out see, like uh, the year RCS program? Get this is behind me. Does it go for? Well, you apparently got problems down in White County, so they're going to have to take care of that. You're, you just have to talk with your lawyer. But it's the best we can say right now. I'll come yeah. talk to you, Sean, and we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay. Okay. State versus Brian Knight, residential burglary theft. Does he need to be transported? Yes, sir. Yes, he does, Your Honor. Okay. Miss, Mr. Knight? <coughs> sir, we're going to transport you to the courthouse. Thank you. State versus Brandon, <coughs> excuse me, Randall, 16251, breaking or entering theft. Did he make an application? We represent him, Judge. Oh, you do? Okay. He just needs to get on the scheduling order is what I understand. Okay. I guess he's been arraigned. There's nothing in the file to reflect that. Okay. Very well. Okay. We'll, we'll do a scheduling order then. Okay. That's all we can do today, sir. Excuse me, sir. I said something. Go ahead. Um, yes, I've been in the Department of Corrections. I just got released September 5th from, our, uh, from Missouri. I'm also wondering if there's any way that I could get some kind of signature bond or something. Please. Your Honor, with Mr. Randall's criminal history, the last thing the state's going to agree to is a signature bond. When did you get out of the Department of Corrections? September 5th this month, sir. I was transferring my parole down here. I'm on ACC parole down here, now. I had everything in the state compact down here, so I could have to take care of it. Okay. The allegations are the crimes occurred on September 7th. Judge, I show in the notes in my file from September 16th that a bond was set at $10,000. Yeah. I'm just going to leave the bond where it's at, sir. Thank you. That's it, sir. State versus Noel Scott, hot check case, 11-245. May I approach, Judge? Okay.
Ma'am, I've appointed the Public Defender's Office to represent you. You're appearing for an arraignment on a petition to revoke your probationary period. How does she plead to this? Plead not true, Judge. Wave reading. Do it enter the plea of not true? Wait just a minute. Okay. okay. Judge, I would say based on the allegations in the petition, your next docket on uh, October 7th would be fine for setting for a hearing. We we'll set it for hearing on October 7th. What did you want to say, ma'am? Uh, I have six hundred dollars to go towards a cash bond, and I am employed. I have been employed for steady for six months, and I still have my dog as of right now. Judge, we've been going around in circles in Miss Scott for so long. It, it doesn't really matter <coughs> to me at this point what she says she has. Okay. We'll just well, be ready for I'm, hearing on October seventh. I'm just going to leave it for hearing. We'll see what happens. That's all we can do right now. State versus Stephanie Scott, 11156, domestic battery, committing abuse of a minor. Ma'am, there's been a petition filed to revoke your probationary period. Am I appointing the public defender's office to represent you? She's, how did she plead to these allegations? Not true. Way of reading, Judge. Okay. Do you know anything about the underlying crime? Judge, the petition alleges a uh, domestic battery third degree. Alleged defense dates in July of this year. I'll allow a $2,000 uh, signature bond for a co surety. No contact with the leg, alleged victim. And she needs to appear before Judge Webb on September 30th. That's all we can do today, ma'am. Thank you. State versus Sarah Brown. Several drug-related charges. Methamphetamine, heroin, oxycodone, marijuana, paraphernalia. 16256. Judge, I believe this will be for arraignment. Okay. She's not guilty, Judge. Okay. Dan, can I go ahead and give you a copy of my sure. We'll enter the plea of not guilty. Uh, your case is before Judge Webb. Uh, reappear on September 30th at, what time does he start? 8.30? 8.30. Thank you. And, but you need to make a, an appointment to speak with the public defender's office. That lady right there can help you. Thank you. State versus Aaron Conrad, 16155, battery, carrying a weapon. Everything to be done today, sir. Not today, Judge. Very well.
I'll leave it as scheduled. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Robert Hardy Jr., 16147, possession of methamphetamine or cocaine with purpose to deliver morphine, sulfide, other drug related charges. Plea to be had on this day. No, Your Honor. Okay. Could we set him for that October date before the trial? Yeah. Schedule on the 24th. Uh, About October 7th. The 7th? That'd be fine. Okay, October 7th, uh, 9.30. Your, law your lawyer may want to talk to you before then. State versus Brandon Lee. Theft of lease, granted, or entrusted personal property and criminal mischief. Judge, 16127. Mr. Yes. Lee is with us today. The file will reflect that I have filed a motion to continue the case. As the court's aware that I'm relatively new into this case, I visit with the state. I think the state's okay with it as long as we take the time, and, of course, we certainly will. That's fine. The state has provided discovery, and I've got that in the mail to Mr. Lee. Judge, I know our October trial docket is already pretty full, uh, filled up. I wouldn't oppose a... November or December. I think, I think Ms. Duncan. Have, I think our next one after that is that December setting, if I remember correctly. I, I have an order for you to sign, Your Honor. It's just not Very well. That's fine. That's Thank all I have. May I be excused? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank you. State versus Jason McCloy, 16 21, rape case. <clears throat> Your Honor, the case set for trial next week. I filed a motion for continuance. Uh, the alleged victim in the case is currently in the state of Texas uh, dealing with a pretty serious health issue in her family, and she's also uh, just about to give birth to a child under those circumstances, was asking if we could continue the trial. I believe our current speedy trial deadline is in April. This will be the first time the state's asked for a continuance in the case. I, I didn't object to it, Joe, as long as they took the time. Very well. Being attended, no, time will not be excluded. Stay in contact with your lawyer. State versus Barry Jarrett. Commercial burglary, breaker entering, theft, criminal mischief. That's 15-223. 15-236 are similar charges. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. See, where does this stand? We're set for trial next week. Uh, okay. I've advised the defense on which of the two cases the state intends to try, which is the 223 case. Scheduled to begin Monday. Okay. Your Honor, can I say something? Oh, hold on, Mr. Jerry. You'll get a chance to tell us. Uh, Go ahead. Um, before Mr. Jarrett uh, addresses the court, uh, on the 223 case, uh, there was a pending motion as it relates to the failure to appear to sever that. And um, I'll sever that. Also, need to, uh, we're objecting to any 404, alleged 404B evidence. I'm not sure if they intend to put that on, but if they do, we object to it. Okay. Which would include the alleged facts and uh, other case, the 236. You intend to put that on? Judge, in this case, I was not intending to. Okay. Well, if it had been the other way around, I probably would, but I don't think it'll be necessary in this one. All right. I understand. Anything further? Well, I guess, gentlemen, just be here at, uh, at least by 830, because we'll try to start picking the jury at 9. Uh, Your Honor, my, my, my speech. Uh, I talked to Mr. Hancock on several occasions uh, about um, laboratory uh, DNA testing, uh, mm -hmm. witnesses, and stuff like that. Mr. Uh, Mr. W uh, Mr. Uh, Gordon Webb had to be one of my witnesses, and apparently he, he's not going to be here. I've, I've made numerous attempts to go over all my evidence with my attorney, and it has failed to have been uh, uh, done. And I'm a special time for a private attorney. I've got one retained out of Marshall. 
Okay, uh, who is that? That'd be Mr. Uh, Patterson. Okay, Let's I'll call, just have a seat. I'll call Mr. Patterson at break, and if I, if I can confirm that you've retained him, we'll take a look at that. Right. Introducing two new families of ATVs from Yamaha. The all-new Grizzly and Kodiak 700. The new Grizzly offers increased power and performance to deliver more exploration and more adventure. The new Kodiak 700 features legendary Yamaha reliability for more productivity and more value. The all-new Grizzly and Kodiak 700 ATVs, all with more than ever before. Fly higher. Go further. Do more. Take it to the next level with Polaris. Whether you're chasing unforgettable memories, manhandling a mountain of work, or pushing the limits of work and play, we've got the perfect machine built just for you. Now's the time to get rebates up to $2,000 during the Polaris Spring Sales Event. Come see us at 824 North Main in Harrison. A hint of autumn is in the air, and the staff at Sisters Flower and Gift Shop invite you to stop in and browse their selection of new fall and holiday gift ideas. Check out their new line of organic grow kits, including basil, thyme, sage, rosemary, and many more. For you Razorback fans, Sisters has a large assortment of mugs, trays, banners, clothing items, and accessories. From fall and holiday floral arrangements, unique centerpieces, colorful wall decor, or exquisite serving pieces, Sisters has just the right item for any occasion. Sisters Flower and Gift Shop. We are so much more than flowers. State versus Dylan Jones, 16255, delivery of controlled substances. Jared, just stay with us. Uh, I've pointed uh, <clears throat> the public defender's office to represent you, sir. Plead not guilty, Judge. He understands what he's charged with. We'll waive reading. We'll enter the plea of not guilty, and uh, we'll send out a scheduling order. When when would it be his next time to appear? December second, nine thirty. You'll need to meet with your lawyer as soon as possible. Thank you. State versus Kristen Jones, 16122, 1689, forgery, theft, drugs. Judge, there's one issue on the plea that we're trying to resolve, we could recall that. Maybe. Sure. Just we'll a little bit. Call your case later, ma'am. State versus Andrew Rains, possession of methamphetamine, marijuana, other charges, 15153. Good morning. Good Everything be done in this case, Judge. This case has just been reassigned within the office, and I've received uh, the case. Um, I understand it's set for trial on September 27th. That's a date that I can't be prepared for since I've not met with okay. Mr. Rains. Just file a motion. All right, sir. Stay in contact with your lawyer, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, is it? Let me look at the thing. 
Yeah, I'm not sure why it stretched out so long. Can, when you think, how much time you need, you think? I think there may be a suppression suppression issue uh, okay. just from glancing at the case. Yeah. So if we could get it set well, sometime in October. Can I set tentatively set October seventh for a suppression hearing if we need it? Uh, yes, sir. If you need well is that if you need more time? Well I'll check. we've we've got that trial next week. Oh, it's gonna uh, go twenty ninth and thirtieth and twenty first. That would be okay. Thank you, sir. State versus Matthew Shearer, sixteen one seventy five. Methamphetamine, drug paraphernalia, marijuana. See when this is set for trial. I don't. That case is set November seventh, Your Honor. When? I'm sorry. November seventh. Okay. Is there anything to do today? Not today, Judge. Okay. Free to go, sir. Thanks, sir. State versus Johnny Snow, possession of controlled substances and drug paraphernalia, sixteen one eleven. Judge, uh, Mr. Snow is on supervised release out of the Western District of Arkansas, the federal system. I tried to contact his probation or supervised release officer, Mr. Craig Roby, this week. I'm waiting on a call back for him from him before we get a disposition in this case um, because what he says is necessarily going to affect what happens here. So uh, it's our request, and I don't think Mr. Bradford objects to continuing this out until that October 7th date. We'll take the time. Very well. Thank you. Thank you. Sarah Parker, 15149. Sarah Beach Parker, drugs and firearms, methamphetamine with purpose to deliver. She has. Alias wants to list you bond forfeit. Give notice to the bondsman. I'm sorry. I oh, apologize. I think Mr. Teague represents her in this case, or maybe this is the one where she was trying to hire him. I don't know if he's a, the attorney of record or not. Well, we'll find out, I guess. Frank Wessels, possession of methamphetamine, fictitious tags, no tags. Not sure how you could do that at the same time, but driving left of center. How you doing, sir? Pretty good. Diamond City, Judge. 16115. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can do it there, can't you? <laughs> Judge, this I case. didn't say anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> Judge, we're currently set for trial next week. Uh, the evidence has been received by the crime lab, but they're still testing it. And our current speedy trial deadline is February 1st. I have filed a written motion for continuance, and uh, obviously under the circumstances, the state would take the time. This is our first motion to continue the case. I, I wouldn't object to that. Very well. That would be the order of the court. Stay in contact with your lawyer. Okay. State versus William White, 16135, residential burglary, theft, criminal mischief, unlawful transfer of stolen property to a pawn shop or pawnbroker. I believe we're here for attorney status. Uh, Mr. Hancock, do you represent him? Uh, he's filled out an application, Judge. Okay. Um, I can 
provide that to the court. Okay. Sir, have you tried to hire a lawyer? Uh, yeah, but it didn't. What, what, yeah. what do you do with your money? You, you have like six hundred dollars and less than that in uh, expenses, and bring home a couple thousand a month. Pay off debt, I guess. I what did you? Not a very good money manager. Was, is this is this accurate? It's oh. pretty close, yes. Uh, well, sir, sir, a lot. Do you get the deductions out of my check for my, my Medicare and all that? So you don't bring home two thousand a month? No, honey, no. Okay, it's what it says here. How no. much do you bring home? Oh, it's probably, uh, after all the deductions and everything, probably around, I'd say, 16, 15. Uh, I don't think you've listed all your expenses from what I can see here. I'll point the PD to represent you because I don't. From the front and the back don't really jive, but I can see where, what you're trying to say, I think. Let's see. Judge, if we could just get a new pretrial date and we stay on the same trial. That'd be okay, fine. how about October 7th? Yes, sir. If I get to talk to you and everything, we can settle this real quick. Court on TKO8 Television is brought to you by Campbell Bonding Company. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. Say it. It's a dirty job. Somebody's got to do it. That somebody's me. I'm Bruce Lovins, better known as Little Bruce of the Roof, at your service. That was over 20 years ago. The hat has changed, but we still provide the same great service. We not only clean chimneys, we do dryer vents, gutters, and handyman jobs. Little Bruce on the Roof Chimney Services. Call 870-688-3389 and let Bruce come to you. That's Little Bruce on the Roof. Call 870-688-3389. Call me. You know, we should always remember to have a working smoke detector where we sleep. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we're all safe, we're all safe. In an emergency, you need a meeting place outside the whole family can meet so that you know everyone is safe.